my name is Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sex, a luxury hair care company, and I'm here today to do a review on this Outre Butterfly Bomb Lock 24 inch wig. But before we get into that, if it's your first time coming over to Silky Sex, I want to say hello and thank you so much. Here we do wig reviews, we give you hair tips, we do hair tutorials product reviews every Monday and Friday. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider going ahead and hitting that subscribe button. And if you're a returning Silky Chick, hey boo, thanks so much for coming again. You know that I love you and I would have nobody to share my wig addiction with without you guys. So I appreciate you guys so much. And to my Silky Chicks watching over on Facebook, hey you guys, we love you over on the Facebook too. So now without further ado, let's get into why you hit that thumbnail. Let's go ahead and get into this butterfly lock unit. Okay, so this is part of Outre's new twisted up lace front uh, braid wig collection. They have three different ones. I have the one that's in the middle. There's this one that's 24 inches. There's another one that's, um, I think it's 26, and then there's a shorter one. I definitely feel like the shorter one might be cuter than this one, but I digress. We'll get into that later, but here is her stock card. I am rocking her in the color 1B. And she is 24 inches, so she is coming down very long into the middle of my back. So let's get into the bells and whistles So four by four parting space. I agree with ear to ear lace. I agree it also has the natural baby hairs, which I'm not a big fan of baby hairs, but for this one, for certain styles, as you'll see in the video, I did go ahead and lay it. Um, um, the twists are natural looking, and I totally agree with that these braids are really pretty the the locks are definitely pretty and um, definitely when it comes to outre as far as the actual hair goes the lock goes I think it's very good <sighs> there is a few cons though so just watch to the end as far as I am concerned now the density on this is pretty heavy there's a lot of locks on this unit so um, I think that's one of the things that they could have done differently is not having so much hair in the wig. Now, um, I'm rocking it down as you'll see and as you see in the beginning of the video, I am going to do a half up half down with it and you can see there that my ends are coming out of the side. So just beware, even though this is big head friendly as far as like all the hair can get under there, just the edges, the edges are coming out so beware of that. It does say that I had a pre-plugged hairline. Um, you know, these braid wigs, it, it's kind of hard to tell that, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's not, it, it's not an awful hairline, but I don't feel like it's super, um, pre-plugged. So, if you want to look, you, make your wig, excuse me, look more natural, we do have a freebie down in the description box, so check that out as well. And... Without further ado, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing styling of this unit. So watch to the end so you can get all of my feelings on this one. All right. Here she is, Butterfly Bomb Twist 24 inch. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here she is. Uh, the pack, the locks look really nice. Um, they have the Shirley's at the end. And um, you can see the parting space here pretty nicely definitely have those baby hairs let's go ahead and get into this cap got the two combs in the front the one comb in the back with the adjustable straps and the band which i like so let's go ahead and put her on Okay, so she has the baby hairs. As you can see, it is a lot of hair on this, seems like. Didn't seem like it was a lot of density on the wig, but now that it's on, I'm feeling like it's a lot, and I'm feeling like it might be giving me a little bit of those Tyler Perry wig movies. I love you, Tyler. I don't want to talk mess about you, but them wigs, you know? You know them wigs don't always be what they need to be. You got the baby hairs, which I probably will use since this is a braid unit. Got that parting. And you can see it's the 4x4 four four parting. So yeah, so you can see them to the right. 
to the left. So let's go ahead and get into this 360. So here she is in the front. Here she is to the right. Here she is to the left and to the back. So I'm going to cut the lace off of her, style her, and then I will be back with pros and cons and final thoughts, so stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I did as I always do with any braided or lock style wigs. I went ahead and boiled some water for about 20 minutes and then dipped the wig a few times in and out just to help the wig flatten up and get um, more tight and together and the, also the hair to keep it from being kind of like scratchy and then let it dry. Now if you dip your wig, I suggest you dip your wig the day before you wear it. So if you're wearing it on Saturday, then I would dip it on Friday to give it time to dry because you can't tell, but she is like the ends are like wet and I'm a little wet from it because I wanted to film, I didn't want to wait for it to dry. So just dip your wig the night before so that once you put it back on and style it, it's completely dry. So I did that. Be careful when you're cutting the lace because this has baby hairs. If you want to use those baby hairs, you got to be careful and take your time cutting lace. Now, as far as the um, hairline being pre-plucked uh, I mean the hairline isn't bad but is it super plucked I don't feel like it is now went in and when I wore when I dipped it as you've seen in the styling portion I put the um, fit me powder in the middle part and I still for me felt like it was a little big now I could have took the blow dryer and just blue dry it to help it maybe flatten up a little bit at the top but I still felt like there was a lot of hair on the wig for my face with a smaller round face like I have. I just felt like it was just overbearing. So I decided to go ahead and put it up in this half ponytail. And I don't know. I don't know. You can tell me if you like it better with the ponytail or just playing down. I don't know. So anyway, it took me like a few attempts to get it in this ponytail style I like because butterfly locks have these like little circles and little like ringlets in it. I found that when I was pulling it back, it was hard to pull it through, especially with the hair tie being black and the braids being black. It was hard for me to see and make it, um, make out the tie. So just be careful. Definitely needed to go into a closer up mirror, a bigger mirror so that I could see better. But once I got it on, after I think like the fourth try and I pulled it back, I realized it's because of those round circles that it doesn't just lay like really neatly like uh, half up, half down. So as you can see, I see I have these little, I'm looking in the mirror back here, so sorry, I'm not making eye contact, but these little holes here, as you can see, are like kind of sticking out. So then, as I said before, I feel like with locks and braided style wigs, 
that you do need baby hair to help it look a little bit more natural so I went in with my edge booster to just go ahead and lay them down a little bit I also went in with the tweezers I don't know if you could tell but I was tweezing the baby hair to try to make it a little bit thinner now I am coming out of the side so this is my baby hair my real actual baby hair along with the wig hair in the front here this is the wig hair and I just kind of brush the rest of the baby hairs up into the hairline as much as I could to kind of like block it because I didn't want to have like baby hair mania going on on my forehead and that was it so all right so let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons for the pros I think that this wig um as far as like the locks go I think the locks look really really nice and I feel like um you know, I think it's nice that they gave you the 4x4 parting so you can do a little bit more with the unit than just, you know, having to wear it straight down for the cons. You guys, you probably can tell by my face, I really don't like this unit. I was hoping that I would really, really like it because I've been wanting a butterfly lock wig and I've been wanting to try one, but I feel like it's too much hair even though I dipped it I still feel like there's a lot of hair on the wig now I could go in and customize the wig and like cut it and I probably will do that um just so that it's not so much hair because I feel like it's just so much hair it's overwhelming I don't really like it up in this half up half down style either I thought I would feel it a little bit better but I'm not I think I probably liked it better shorter but like I said you guys can let me know um for the price of the wig I don't think it's worth it unless you really want to go in here and do some customizing as far as like cutting um cutting out some of the braids and I'm um, using locks and then checking out it to see um but yeah she's not an easy throw on and go she's definitely giving me Tyler Perry wig and I didn't want to say that but I have to be honest I'm not yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. So you let me know what you think. You let me know how you feel about it. If I, you know, did good or not or and, you know, which style you like better. But yeah, so when I take this wig off, I'm not going to put it back into the plastic that it came out of. I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented to not only store the wig, but to add longevity to it. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down the shedding, tangling, and matting that this would do if I was to put it back into the plastic. So if you want to know more about silky sacks and the products that we sell for your wigs and to style them and all that good stuff, then the link to our website will be down in the description box. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that Silky Chick shout out. And the Silky Chick shout out is going to Miss Saw Life. Saw Life Shannon is a fellow wig bae, you guys. She slays wigs, human and synthetic, and she is just a bundle of joy. Every time I watch her videos, I instantly just smile. She has so much personality. She's so much fun. So please, if you do not know who Saw Life is, you need to get her in your life. You will thank me later. So the link to her channel will be down in the description box. And if you're super cheeky and want to shout out, make sure you leave me a comment so I can let people know about you as always i want to say thank you so much for watching remember better care is better wear and i hope to see you in the next video